Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today and joining us at Family Shenanigans, Art, Crafts, and Builds. Um, today we are making this fun 4th of July reef. We had kind of this idea that we wanted to go the Dollar Tree and maybe try two different reef frames and see how that would turn out. We are really happy with the results. We're going to let you know how we did and we hope you enjoy it too. And you can see some of the supplies that we bought at the Dollar Tree. We bought this large um, regular reef frame and then we found this cool little heart frame. We usually only find that um, during the uh, Valentine season, but luckily we had one in the store. And so we're going to begin by wrapping the yarn around the heart frame. And we have this it's um, red metallic. We just bought it at a local craft store. It's a size uh, four, I believe, acrylic. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap that around the heart to begin with. And there's a couple different ways that you can do it. You can keep the yarn on the roll, but we actually like to cut ours into manageable sizes and then kind of double the string. If you can see, it's kind of doubled here. So it was about um, nine foot of string doubled. And then that will be working in different sections as we go along. And you can see we're just gonna be wrapping it around, um, pulling the string around and we weren't too worried about doing the string perfectly. We're just trying to get it on nice and thick because you know, from the door, from the road, most of the people are not gonna see it. But if you have a little bit of a better or cleaner technique and you're wrapping the yarn, um, that will look great too. You can see we're all done now wrapping our um, heart we had a little trouble at the v point but that's okay because um, once we finish the rest of the um, reef and have all the parts added to it it's not going to show as much anyways and so now we're going to just go ahead and have these zip ties here and i'm just going to put it through the heart frame there and then attach it securely to the main large round frame. And you can see, um, I'm gonna give it a little pull. I'm gonna show you how tight that is. So once you have the zip ties on, it's pretty secure and it's nice and tight. So you don't really have to worry about it really falling apart. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this other side here and then one down at the base as well. We found this beautiful red, white, and blue decorative mesh at the Dollar Tree. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and start attaching it here. We've already, you know, notched it on there in the middle of the round frame. And we're actually gonna end up doing two rows on this. Um, and we like to measure out about eight inches and then kind of pull it up and then love the zip ties. It goes really quickly with the zip ties. So we're just gonna attach it with this zip tie and we'll be working around the whole frame doing about eight inches for each bow-like area. 
And you can see that we're working with three colors at one time. So we have one blue, one white, and one red. And so to make our wreath, it took about nine rolls altogether. So there were three rolls of red, three rolls of white, and three rolls of blue. And we had just enough. It's so if you're worried about not having enough, you could go ahead and purchase another extra three rolls, which would be one red and one white and one blue. But um, ours made it with just the nine. And we finally finished our outside row here and you can see kind of how it's coming together and we're really excited already about it but um, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start working on this inside the very inside row there you can see with the camera um, we're going to be adding decorative mesh right along this edge here so and we're gonna be doing the same technique. It's going to be about eight inches and we're gonna measure it out. And then we're gonna make the little loop bow and we're gonna work all the way around. And we finally finished our second row and you can see how full and fluffy it is. We are really excited about the, the decorative mesh. It really turned out the way we love it. And so now we're just gonna kind of um, move to this other table because we'll be using the hot glue. We have this little, it's my favorite thing. I love the hot glue standing dish and we have some fl decorated flowers here. Um, that we're gonna pick and choose from and then now we have like the heart on the inside and we want to kind of keep the shape of the heart so um, I think that what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to add and we kind of have it laid out here for you um, these stars on the inside so we can keep the heart and then we're putting some flowers around the side and we'll just be gluing these um, individual pieces on and then we'll meet you back when it's all done. 
We hope you enjoyed this video of how we made our 4th of July reef. Um, we hope it inspires you to go out and make one of your own. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, a share, a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the notification button. And let us know in the comments what you guys think. Thank you. We hope you have a wonderful holiday.